Hello, in this problem we have the function f of x equals e to the x plus three minus two, and we're being asked to graph the function. So we're gonna do this by hand, solution. So first note that we're going to use some shifting here. So let's think about e to the x. So if it's just e to the x, Okay, if it's just e to the x, here's the y-axis, here is the x-axis, and e to the x has a horizontal asymptote at zero. So the, li the line y equals zero is a horizontal asymptote for the graph of e to the x, and it would look something like this. It grows very rapidly. And this point here is one. Okay, so if it's e to the x plus 3 and then minus 2, well, there's two shifts happening. Whenever you add a number to the x like this, you're going to shift left, and in this case by 3. It's backwards. I always think whenever you add to the x, it's left. Whenever you subtract from the x, it's right. Uh, and then when you add or subtract to the function, uh, it corresponds with the sign. So negative 2 would be down. So we're going to shift down by 2. If it was a positive 2, we'd go up. So whenever you add or subtract from the x, it's backwards. Just a cheesy trick to memorize it. Add 3, it's really left 3. Subtract 3, it's really right 3. Whenever you add or subtract to the y value, right, you're adding and subtracting to the y value, you're just going to go up or down. So down 2 is down 2. Okay. So now we're just gonna to attempt to graph it and we'll do our best. Um, not gonna be a perfect graph by any means, but um, I don't have a ruler here, but let's see if I can try to do a decent job. So here's X, here's Y. And um, let's, let's find out what happens. Uh, well, when it goes down, uh, it's definitely going to uh, cross um, the uh, axes. So let's find the intercepts. Let's do that really quick before we graph it, just to get a better graph. So f of x is equal to e to the x plus 3 minus 2. So first let's find the y-intercept. So recall to find any intercept, um, you set the other one equal to 0. So to find the y-intercept, we set x equal to 0. So this is e to the 0 plus 3 and then minus 2. This is e cubed Minus two. It's a really big number. I'm not quite sure um, what e cubed is. I just know it's very, very large. Uh, so this number here should be approximately 18. It's a really long decimal, but it's roughly 18. That's probably going to be off the charts in our graph here. So this would be the y-intercept. As for the x-intercept, we basically set the entire function equal to zero. So let's do that here. So we'll set e to the x plus 3, then minus 2 equal to 0. So to solve this, we basically have to find x. So we'll start by isolating the e. So I'll add 2 to both sides. So plus 2 plus 2. So we're at e to the x plus 3 equals 2. And then to get rid of the e, we could take the natural log of both sides. Natural log of 2. And this goes away, right? Very powerful formula. Remember, ln e to the x is equal to x. Super, super powerful. So all of this is just x plus 3 equals ln 2. And then subtract 3, subtract 3. Going pretty fast here at the end. x equals ln 2 minus 3. So um, that's uh, ln 2 is like, I forget, it's like 1 point something. I used to have it memorized. No, it's 0 0.69. 0 0.69. So roughly 0.69. So ln2 uh, minus 3 is roughly negative 2.3, roughly, roughly. So that's going to be the x-intercept, x-int. All right, I feel like I need to make my graph bigger, so let me just do it again. So here's, here's the final answer. Here's the y-axis. Whoops, a little bit better. Here's the y-axis. <laughs> need a ruler. Can't win. This is x. <laughs> this is y. Okay, so we went, there was also a shift, so let's, let's focus on that first. So we went left three, that's just going to change the shape, it's going to be like over here, right? And then 
down to, it's gonna move our asymptote, so let's go ahead and draw that. So I'm gonna go down to, so one, two, and uh, I'll put the asymptote in this color here. There's our asymptote. This line should be a straight line, this vertical white line. I know, don't know what happened there. <laughs> and then um, negative 2.3, that's where it crosses the x-axis. So this will be one, two, three. So like right here, I'm gonna use a different color now, like right here. And then it's just gonna basically do this. It's just gonna come up here. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Okay, just like that. And it'll cross the y-axis, but if we're drawing this roughly to scale, uh, it's going to be off, off the current graph, right? Because it's 18, there's no way this is 18 if everything is to scale here, so. So yeah, that's how you would graph it. And again, you know, do you have to do um, the x-intercept and the y-intercept? I, I don't know, but at least it gives you um, a better, you know, perspective on what it might look like. Of course, you can just always plug it into your calculator or something like that, Or, but I just wanted to show you how to do it uh, mostly by hand. I did, I did cheat <laughs> for these numbers here. Um, so yeah, good luck.